So there might be possible advertisement opportunity uh, this evening. So I'm gonna go and try to get a little edge up in my hair. Um, so it can look halfway presentable. I got super bad news at my uh, barber where I go get shaved and stuff. He is on vacation. Uh, one, too many people with my, my hair, but because uh, for whatever reason, I haven't been able to find a decent barber uh, here in years that I've been here. Um, you usually have to travel to actually get a, like a good haircut. Um, but there's a guy that recently started using just to try to look somewhat presentable. And um, yeah, it's a struggle, uh, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. But as far as my face, uh, I'm a little hesitant, uh, especially when you find somebody that uh, does a good job and they know, you know, how your face and everything else, like, it's hard to go to somebody new. Uh, So yeah, uh, you know, not the same experience as my other barber that gives me a shave, uh, but take what I can get. So it's a bit darker than I'm used to. I guess it will serve its purpose for today. So let's try to order from this app. I'm not sure how this is gonna look on the screen. Let's order some food to... Oh. It's not the healthiest to eat right now, but they have delicious shrimp. So something to get really quick delivered. So here we go. Two of those because I'm a fat kid. So we hit the tracker and we go here, zoom out, and you can see he is close. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hunger station. Yes, are you at the gate? Are you at the gate? The gate? Uh, Muffy. Yes. 
Shukran. Yes. Oh, it's here. Finally home. What do we have in the goodie bag? White wipes. One for the fat boy. Two for the fat boy. I don't know what they put in this, but the sauce is amazing. Boom. Fried butterfly shrimp. Freshened up, and let's go see what this is about. Someone down fast. at the gate. Oh, but we are here apparently. So we shall see. Hi, my name is Will. I'm 42, born in Lake Nate, England. And my hobbies are working out. I'm a YouTuber. I'm my clothing brand. Okay, good to go. Thanks. That's it. <laughs> That was a different uh, audition, I guess the best way. You're like checking everything, your hands and... gym i heard my buddy is back so hopefully oh i wonder what that could be guess who's hey, here what's up man long time long time to see fans been asking for you what is we, what do we what do we have here what do we have here folks this looks like a christmas bag let's see what we have in here Been over a year, which is absolutely crazy. Oop, got some goodies, goodies. Get the Hero 8. Block. We have the GoPro Max. It's for those 360 views. Can't wait to use that. It'll be fun. We'll go uh, out in Red Sands. Selfie sticks, got the light mod, finally, charging equipment, this must be the goodie bag, hell yeah, the memory, cards, chargers, running clamp, aqua housing, batteries, yeah, so we got it all. Wow, it's been a long time coming, that's for sure. Well, I was hoping to play with some of the goodies, but of course, like anything, you have to let it charge, so. I'll let those charge up, and uh, we'll try to enjoy those later. Let's see if we can go grab something good to eat or something later. Back by popular demand, 
his fan club has been asking for him. And there he is. So how was your uh, how was your time over overseas? <laughs> So yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good. I mean, uh, it's kind of busy, you know. Uh, I had to go back to the States mostly for business, but I got to, got to see family. And then uh, Saudi struck again, you know. Uh, they uh, imposed restrictions on the country, and uh, so they made it so uh, if you were in a banned country, you, you couldn't just come back directly. Nice little quick back and by stuff. Workout. No hate coming to this gym. Uh, but it has a few of the machines I need. And uh, it was good to catch up. Guy. Hopefully the GoPro is charged, or one of them, so I can uh, use that. Let me go get something to eat. I wonder if this guy is ready. So, just woke up from nap and headed to, I can't remember the name of this place. It's like Lake Center or something like this. Um, yeah, we're gonna go check that out and um, fly the drone. Seems pretty calm outside right now, so let's go check it out. Maybe stop and get some food on the way. I was in a coma.
And GoPro light is bright. I don't know if we keep that on in here. But, uh, yeah, so we're back. The chef's burger. Uh, I got a Wagyu and Swiss burger, so it should be pretty good. another episode down. So I uh, definitely want to thank you guys for continuing to ride with me uh, on this journey. It's been very educational. Uh, it's been some super busy weeks, the last few weeks, finalizing everything to get this e-commerce off the ground. E-commerce and um, what they call brick and mortar uh, back in the day, like an actual physical store, completely different when it comes to business. Um, the online business is, there's a lot of things you gotta get in place uh, if you wanna do it legitly and uh, have some substantial traffic come into your, your business. So I've been documenting everything as I've been going through this process because uh, I'm thinking about doing, uh, offering an online class so that people can avoid certain mistakes that people, when they first start out with uh, online businesses, uh, they generally make. Uh, so I uh, also wanted to say uh, anybody that's done any kind of business or any kind of, uh, I would say successful business, and they say they did it all by themselves, mm, after going through this process, uh, yeah, it's highly doubtful. There, uh, you definitely need a team uh, to help you through the process. There's there's certain things that you may not be an expert in and you can learn things online, don't get me wrong. You can learn a lot of the aspects of the business, but there's certain things that uh, you just, unless you went to school for it, uh, which I, fi I find it very hard to believe that uh, a lot of people have gone to school for various things, uh, finance, IT, um, Google Analytics, uh, design, you know, there's tons of things that go along with these uh, businesses, but um, I'm super grateful for the people that have uh, been helping me along my journey and this process. Uh, their, their help is, uh, there, there's, no, there's no measurement to, uh, there's nothing that can quantify the, the, the amount of help and uh, how grateful I am for these people. Um, even friends just emailing me or DMing me and saying, hey, I'm not sure if you already have this, but if you don't, this, this, and this will help you with this part of your business, or this will help boost your business forward, or this will get eyes on your, on your business, you know, overseas. Um, having friends around the world, Asia, Europe, uh, parts of Africa, um, Central and South America, and then obviously in the States and Canada, I mean, having people spread out, it's really good to have those people, but I know when I looked at some of the pitfalls, um, when I'm listening to the Lean Startup, is people will have a certain level of success when they first start out due to their friends 
and family, you know, they will support them and buy a shirt or whatever. Um, but it's getting beyond that audience to the people that have no clue who you are, but are introduced to your brand or introduced to your YouTube platform or introduced to your uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, social media. If they're introduced to you through that and then they slowly, you know, come along and get to know who you are or what you're about, then that's different. But the average person that just, hey man, you should check out this place or hey, I, uh, where'd you get that shirt or where'd you get that hat or where'd you get that sweatshirt? And they're saying, I really like that. Like, where'd you get that? Oh, there's this, this guy who's on the internet and he, you know, he has a channel and he has this and he has that. You should check out his website. Like he has really nice clothes. Like the, I got this from there. It's those people that most who start out, they never get to reach those people. So um, getting to learn these little things, this very little, you know, details about the business has really uh, opened my eyes. Uh, I have begun to to get into so uh, again I'm super grateful uh, if you've ever given me any kind of advice if you have continued to support me if you've uh, <laughs> helped me with watching my show multiple times so I can get my um, hours up you know if you've uh, told people or ask them to subscribe to my channel, you know, to get my subscribers up. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you tremendously. Like I really, really, really appreciate you. We are just counting down, waiting to receive the items and everything will go full steam ahead from there. Ciao.